What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we are going to see if if a hundred dollar cooler can hold up to the ice retention that a two hundred and fifty dollar cooler does. So we got the lifetime cooler. It says it has seven day ice retention, fifty five quart capacity. Then we got the Orca forty quart cooler. And we're gonna put uh, two bags of ice in each one, and which is gonna be uh, 32 pounds of ice in each one. They are both pre-chilled. Let's pull this out here. We still got ice here from pre-chilling. And uh, yeah, everything's freezed in both of them. My God, that's cold. So uh, we're going to empty all this out. And then we're going to put two bags of ice in there. We're going to have four drinks in each one that are pre-chilled. And we're going to uh, put these to the test. So let's get started. All right, so we have ice in both of them. All the way to the top on this one, almost all the way to the top on the other one. We actually put uh, 40 pounds in both because the bag thing didn't work so they each got 40 pounds in them both got four drinks three and then a thing three and then a thing and uh so let's close them up we'll check on them about three times a day we'll come out open them up move some stuff around and uh see what happens so let's get going all right guys we got day one completely over day one so let's uh check some temperatures here see what we got going on on the tops and uh the bottoms blah 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 so we got 92.1 on the top of that one and we got 93 i don't think that's right 93 all right 93 92.2 it's it's right on so let's see what we got going on in here on the insides of these and uh day one day one 24 hours completely gone it is now 12 30 it's like 12 34 put ice in these at 12 30 yesterday day one oh yeah day one and we got 30.1 30.1 let's move some stuff around here move some stuff around break some ice up all right down in close that one day one day one day whoa yeah still up there stuff around in this one too go in here switch some stuff well, everything's gonna be cold that's for sure let's see what we got in here now since we already left it open for a minute 29.9 so they're pretty close to the same temperatures so far holding up real nice all right, here we go, day two, day two. It's been raining out, so uh, yeah. So we measured, we got 83 degrees on the top of this cooler, 83.5 on the top of this one. Let's open them up, check out the ice. So let's see here, oh yeah, it's going down little by little here, <clears throat> going down. Oh, still a lot of ice in there, but a lot of water too, so move some stuff around here break some stuff up there we go all right so let's see what we temperature is thirty one point six thirty one point six and that one See if this one's doing any better. Maybe, I don't know. Oh man, this one's still full to the brim. It's got a little bit of water going on in there, but 
not a lot not as much as the other one so uh, let's measure this one see what we got on it here 31 degrees 30.8 close <coughs> all right day two you seen it day two moving on all right guys day three day three of the ice challenge top of the cooler on this one we're getting oh let's retry that man 109.5 told you it's hot out let's see what we got here 110.7 let's do it one more time uh 110.4 so yeah that's how hot it's been so if that ain't getting the, the ice flowing then nothing will so let's open it up see what we got here y'all ready and who there's still still a lot of ice in there all right that's good right a lot of ice still in there as you can tell i mean lots so uh temperature wise we're right at 32.1 let's try it over here uh yeah 32.1 so there she is so far so good a little over four hours past three days and still got lots of ice in the lifetime three days hey three days for a hundred dollar cooler and it still got that much ice in it that's that's pretty good all right so come over here oh yeah <clears throat> this one uh, still got big chunks of ice in it as well see what we're running in here temperature wise 29.9 a little bit colder 30.6 so uh yeah close all right three days down all right guys day four update day four let's see what we got going on here still got lots of ice in this day four still lots of ice in the lifetime now we started using these coolers today we've been switching back and forth but uh there's really nothing in them anymore and this one's still got a lot of ice too so still have a lot of ice in it so there's day four update both of them still doing good i'm gonna be honest hundred dollar cooler i thought it wouldn't have lasted this long so uh yeah moving on all right guys day five day five of the ice test these have been opened up about uh 10 times a piece i'd say we went from opening this one to opening this one to opening this one to opening this one and that way they were both getting the same amount of use while working so uh day five let's check the ice see what we got so here we go all right lots of sweat in this one but we still have a little bit of ice left in there i think after tonight this will probably be gone so still a little bit in the lifetime which hey five days not bad at all let's see what the orcas got up to in here so uh yeah <clears throat> all right orca still has about the same amount maybe a little bit more i would say they're about, pretty much about the same both have ice so uh we'll see we'll see which one still has ice tomorrow all right guys i was sitting here talking to a buddy about these coolers and uh we decided to check the ice in them again because as you know they both had very little ice well they still had a lot of ice in them earlier when we checked it at the five day mark five days was 12 30 it is now eight o'clock so it's been seven and a half hours past so it's been five days seven and a half hours and uh the lifetime is not got ice in it anymore but let's let's get a infrared thermometer here and see what the water temperature is in this all right so we're going to check the water temperature here let's see what we got 37.7 let's check it again here just to see if we're getting accurate 37.5 so it's about 37 degrees which would still keep your drinks nice and cool 
Uh, so moving on to the Orca, it still has ice in it. Not a lot, but it still does have ice. And that's what this test was about. But anyway, let's see what we got in here. Since it's still got some ice, it should be tremendously colder. 32.5, 32, uh, one more. Uh, 31 3 let's go to let's go to this and see what happens that should give us a better accurate reading 31 3 and uh yeah so 32 and a half again so it's pretty much 32 degrees significantly colder it's cold that's for sure so uh we'll see how long this holds ice we'll check it six o'clock in the morning see if it still has ice in it uh see if it made it five and a half days um, like I said, both of these coolers have been opened about 10 times a piece throughout my working week. And, uh, so, you know, it, it's been, it's been a very even contest for sure. So we'll see, we'll see. Moving on. We'll see y'all in the morning. All right, guys, we are five days, 20 hours in, uh, 1230 today would make six days but it is 8.30 in the morning. Here, let me show y'all. It's 8.20 in the morning. So it's it's literally five, five days, 20 hours. Okay, 19 hours, 50 minutes, if you wanna get technical. But uh, we're going to, man, this thing sweats a lot. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna see, this one's completely out of ice. It was out of ice as of last night. And, uh, so we're at 47.8 degrees and that, let's see, I'm pretty sure the orca is probably going to be out of ice as well. So let's look at it real quick and see what we got going on in there. Maybe it's got a little bit, I don't know, probably not. But anyway, let's find out. Nope, I don't see nothing in there. Uh, nothing. Nothing, no ice in the orca neither, but it is pushing. What the heck? Uh, <clears throat> 42 degrees, so it's not far behind. Yep, 42 consistently here. 42 too. So, uh, both of them out of ice. No ice. In them this one still had a little bit of ice left in it last night at the uh five day seven hours mark as you've seen uh the lifetime was already out if you're not using these then i would definitely say that you know they're they're both going to last you're probably going to get your seven days if you're really not using them that much but let's get to the what our conclusion is here on this all right, guys, so we've come to the conclusion on these that they're both great coolers. Uh, this is my second lifetime cooler. The first one I had barely held ice for a very long time. And what had happened was this cooler, I guess, that the lid had warped on it. So it wasn't uh, keeping the cool on the inside of it. But uh, so we went out and we bought an Orca cooler just to see, you know, hey, Orca's winner on a lot of the ice test challenges that uh, you look up. And so we went and got a work of 40 quart, put the same amount of ice in both of them. Everything was pre-chilled and you know, we got a little over five days with them and we opened each one about 10 times. So, uh, you know, that's, that's not bad. If you're using it more then of course, you're not going to get that much, uh, ice retention out of these, either one of them. But some of the things I'd like to mention on these is while we're at it, go over a couple of the things. This has a bottle opener right here. Uh, you can also send a lock through and lock it right there. So that's a good thing. And then you've got the Orca that has a place to lock it on both sides as well. This seems like it's going to last a little longer to me than that, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> we'll see both of these are you know made in the USA um, when we look at the bottoms here then what happens is is this orca 
the way it sits down in there this sits down in here and it's I mean it's a pretty tight fit um, but what I do like about this is not only is it made in the USA it comes with a lifetime warranty so if anything ever happens to this cooler you lose one of these something like that Orco will send you whatever you need to replace it so uh, lifetime warranty on this uh, but another thing I like about it is it's watertight so you can you can tilt this over all the way and no water comes out of it it's watertight seal another cool thing you get with the orca is you've got handles underneath here as well as your straps but uh, you get this cool little cool little bag on the back so it's velcroed put whatever you want in there do whatever you need keep some stuff safe overall it's a, it's a great cooler for uh i mean i got this on clearance it was 230 bucks um and i got it because i wanted to see the real test i wanted to give y'all the real test so that's what we got going on with that then uh we move over to the lifetime i'm pretty sure the lifetime only comes with a <coughs> one year warranty it is also made in the usa um you, your handles are on the side instead of being you know whatever and they move so they got little moving handles uh, but overall guys I mean when you open this one up the seal on this is here and this seal does move as you can see uh, the seal does move it does not stay in place it's it's just there and then when you close this this is what you know is keeping your seal against this so it's totally different than the orca but both of them are made in the usa this one only comes with a one year warranty this one comes with a lifetime warranty but uh you know this one's grizzly bear resistant that one i, I don't think is grizzly bear resistant if it is it don't say or i didn't do enough research on it but both got cool little cool little things on the bottom to keep them from you know sliding around too much but uh anyway the thing that that i don't like about this cooler is if you put this in the back of your vehicle that has carpet or something and the water sloshes around or anything like that then the water just pours out of this thing it is not watertight whatsoever but all in all guys in this challenge for a hundred dollar cooler this is 98 bucks at walmart uh, the Orca I got for 230 uh, So, you know, there, there's a $140 difference in price by the time you add tax to these. But, uh, you know, what's the best cooler for you? Are you looking for something you can take camping? Uh, now, keep in mind, this is only a 40-quart. So, this is a 55-quart cooler that's you're, you're only going to pay like a, less than $110 for after tax. Um, by the time you pay tax on this, if you get it on sale like I did, you're still going to pay right around uh, 250 for it. So, and it's only a 40 quart. So, how much does the lifetime warranty, if anything ever happen, you can get it replaced? No questions asked. Uh, you know, you got good handles. You got handles underneath. You, it comes with the the cool little backing here, and it's watertight. Uh, if you're wanting something for work, then this $100 lifetime cooler has been excellent. But once again, once you get both of these, I don't care which one you buy, you can go buy a Yeti. Uh, but once you start working and you're in these constantly, and when I say constantly, I mean two to three times an hour, uh, putting drinks in, taking drinks out, doing whatever you're doing, then these are only going to last you two to three days at the most. That's with either one of them. So, you know, both of these coolers last and hold ice a very very long time and uh especially for me to be in each one about 10 times they you know the the orca outlasted the lifetime which i expected it to do but uh i was kind of getting worried there um in the beginning because all the ice retention seemed to be about the same up until the last hours and then you know that's when the orca still had ice in it and of course the lifetime did not but guys if you're looking for a great cooler just to work and uh you know whatever then go get the lifetime cooler walmart if you don't like it hey take it back you know what have you got to lose but uh this thing has been an excellent little cooler even against a, a very 
good, well-respected cooler. So uh, I'm personally probably going to, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to keep both of them, but hey, whatever, uh, to each their own. But that's probably going to be my traveling cooler. That's probably going to be my work cooler. And, you know, I did pay for these products. This is not a sponsored review by any means. I wanted to show the, the true side of these coolers and let you see exactly what they had. And, uh, you know, hey, is the $100 at Walmart worth it? But, uh, you know, like I said, if you're not worried about the all the, uh, the water leaking out, then this is a great cooler guys so that's that's what i've came to on my conclusion of both of these coolers after using them for a while <coughs> and doing this uh ice test challenge for y'all so if you have any questions comment down below feel free to ask i'll be glad to happy to answer anything you have if i personally know but uh thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe and as always we'll see you in the next one